In this chapter, we are going to learn how to do the UI validations using Selenium. For examples, we have three functions in Selenium like the is selected, is enabled, and is displayed. We have already talked about is enabled in our buttons as well as the text input uh, videos, right? So in this video, we are going to explore more on is displayed and the is selected. So is selected is basically used to check uh, like whether a checkbox is selected or not, a radio button is selected or not kind of scenarios. For example, uh, in our let code, we have this page called radio and checkbox. If I go inside that, you can see that we have few of the test cases. I will leave that to you because it's just a click operation, right? So even if it's radio box or a checkbox or um, group of checkboxes, you have to use the click function to do the click action. Okay. So here you can see the, it is already selected, right? So find if the checkbox is selected or not. We are going to solve this one. Okay. So for that, uh, of course, I have to navigate to that particular URL. So I'll just copy and paste over here. And then what we are going to do is we are going to find this particular checkbox. Now let's go and inspect this one first. So it has a label called a uh, checkbox, class called checkbox. And within that, it has a like remember me and uh, it has an input basically, right? So all the checkboxes will be basically in the input only. Few of the stubs will be in the label as well. Uh, that's different, right? So yeah. Anyways, so let's go and try to find the X path here. And the X path is going to be, uh, let's go to the label, right? So here we can see that we have a uh, text called remember, remember me, right? So I'm going to take the X path for this, okay? So let me copy and paste over here. And of course, we are not going to do the click action. So let me uh, end up with semicolon. And here you can see we are getting by. We have to import the by. Now to do the import, you can press Control Shift O in Eclipse to do the automatic input, okay? And uh, we have lots of shortcut in Eclipse. Uh, I will try to make a separate video for that in our upcoming. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I will recommend you to subscribe, okay? I'm going to use the control to L and I'm going to say like, uh, remember just some variable name, okay? And then what we are going to do is basically, uh, let me bring some space here. Yeah, so I'm going to check, remember, uh, is selected let's see what it's going to give right so is selected and this guy is going to return the tool boolean not boolean i mean yeah it's going to return me boolean so sys out in the sense uh, of course is going to print so we are going to print the selected that means it is already selected right so we are expecting true if it's not selected then it will be false okay so let me run now And uh, here you can see that it is giving us um, false. Why false? Okay, it should be actually uh, true only, but it is giving us false because uh, we have taken the label, not the input. So we can check the state based on the input, not the label tag, right? So I'm going to copy and paste this URL. I mean, hex path, not the URL. And from there, I'm just going to uh, go to the input, right? So this is the correct text path for that. Let me copy and paste over here and let me execute this once again, okay? Okay, now let me close this and here you can see we are getting the true, okay? So that is pretty much cool, right? So is selected in the sense, it will tell you uh, whether the element is uh, selected or not so if it's selected it will give you true otherwise it is going to be false you can read it from the documentation as well okay now other than that we also have a function called is uh, displayed right so for example let's say that we have this refer the button right so i am expecting this button to be displayed here right so is enable in the sense it's going to check whether we can interact with that particular element or not is displayed in the sense it will just tell you like if the element is present within the uh, page, right? Presently, the sense there are two types of states. One is disabled, that is hidden, and another one is the visible state. Visible state in the sense that particular element will have some height and width. If the height and width is zero, then Selenium will consider it as a uh, hidden element. Okay, so that will return the false. Now here we can see that we have a tag name called button, so I can use that. Uh, let me just quickly use the latex path and we are not going to do the click. So let's remove and store it in a web element. And we just name this like uh, BTN uh, button, something like that. And we are going to directly say out. So BUTN button dot is displayed. 
so we are expecting true so let's go and run okay let me close this browser and here you can see again we got the proof okay so that's it pretty much cool uh, so this is how we have to do the ui validations in the selenium okay so it's going to be very very simple only three functions we have is displayed is enabled is selected i hope you understand all the three and that is very much important in terms of interview as well as when we work in selenium okay so make sure you understand all the three okay so based on this of course we can create a base class so just it's going to be very very simple so we'll create another function here so public void and i can say like um, uh, is displayed over here uh, we can say like is element uh, displayed and we have to pass the web element as a parameter here And the return type should be boolean not the uh, void okay so we'll just uh, return so i return uh, element dot is displayed okay and um, you can just use control one and you can change the method type to boolean okay just for our understanding we'll also type the log here uh, element is displayed okay so is displayed so we, we can see actual uh, the state okay but here if you notice the log is not allowing us to print because this is going to return me the boolean and whereas this log function basically it's going to take the uh, type as a uh, string so that is the reason we are getting this error okay so how to fix it is very simple we can do in a uh, few ways i can say so instead of string i can change this to object so whatever the data type we are going to get we are going to print easily okay so that makes sense here we can change this into object that's it very simple right or else if you don't want that if you still want this to be a string what you can do so you can do the concatenation so we can do the concatenation so here's like double quotes plus anything that's going to be string in java or mostly in any programming language okay but i'll just go with um, uh, object here because that's going to be uh, good because maybe in future we'll type different things so instead of adding double quotes again and again we can just pass the data as it is and this object will take care of that okay very cool so we have completed our validations as well as the base right so we'll see again in the next chapter